Come on, you can give us something a little better than that. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 video game characters that need better backstories. For this list, we're looking at video game characters whose backstories are slightly lacking. Keep in mind that we aren't saying these video game characters are bad, but rather, for whatever reason, their characters' histories aren't really substantial. Number 10, Mario, Super Mario series. He's the poster boy for Nintendo, has saved the Mushroom Kingdom, and bested the Koopa King on multiple occasions. But what do we know about our favorite plumber? Well, that's literally pretty much it. He's a plumber who got roped into searching castles and saving princesses. He's proficient at diving, soccer, party games, tennis, combat, and interstellar travel. But the only thing we know about him is that he used to unclog toilets for a living. Hi, are you the Mario Brothers? Sure. The original cartoon show showed the Mario Brothers getting sucked down a bath drain and ending up getting warped into the Mushroom Kingdom. But maybe we can have just a bit more complexity than that. Uh! What about a deeply rooted fear of turtles from his childhood? That's a good place to start. Number 9, Seth, Street Fighter 4. Soon they will see what true power really is. Modern fighting games have showed us that it is indeed possible to include good storytelling and character depth. Even Street Fighter managed to accomplish this with characters like Akuma. This disturbance calls out to me. However, the history of the antagonist of the series' fourth main outing is still paper thin compared to that of some of his counterparts. What was that? Sir, we are looking into it. I will notify you the instant that we know for sure. The leader of Shadaloo's weapon division, we get fragments of a story that show that Seth is one of the many artificially engineered creations, and that he hosts a new world tournament in the hopes of capturing Ryu. To achieve one's own goals necessitates trampling those of others underfoot. Chances are you won't be able to get a full picture of this character until you've completed arcade mode with each fighter, and even then, it's not much to go on. Never call me by my number! My name is Seth, and I am unique. Number 8, Mona Sachs, Max Payne series. Hey! Femme fatales are par for the course in video games. Some can be fun, some can be complex, and others can be heavily underwritten. I'm not here to kill you. Aren't you going to ask me in? Making a brief appearance in the first game, Mona was presented as a cold-blooded killer with a sexy edge to her, only to become a playable character in the sequel. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't Go this. to hell, Max. While she's most certainly a badass and her complicated relationship with Max Payne is intriguing, not enough time is given to cement her as a fully rounded character. You are in danger. Both of us are. There's a contract out on us. We know she's a proficient contract killer and cares deeply for her twin sister, but that's about it. As such, the neo-noir romance element that the game prides itself on falls woefully short. Mona Sachs, Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Number seven, Commander Shepard, Mass Effect series. My bio is public record. Everyone knows I ran with gangs as a kid. Lower your assault rifles. We're not disrespecting our favorite Spectre. Great. You pissed the captain off and now I'm going to pay for it. The choices that the player make throughout their war against the Reapers, the relationships they share between crew members, and the Paragon and Renegade choices certainly lend themselves to the creation of a unique character for you, the player. My history's a matter of public record. I got nothing to hide. However, during the series' inception, players were only given two sets of three options for their Shepherd's past, one for your childhood and another for your military career. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. There are side missions and nods to that military history, but diving deeper into these choices would have elevated the character to even higher levels in comparison to what we were given. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. Number six, the protagonist's Pokemon series. With each new generation, players are introduced to new Pokemon, new legendaries, rival trainers, gym leaders, the Elite Four, and villainous organizations. Characters like Anne showed that the games weren't all just copy and pastes of each other, but could expand into new territories and deal with new subject matter. So the obvious question remains, why haven't the protagonists changed at all? 
players remain trapped as the silent trainers who want to be the very best like no one ever was, but without any differentiation. And maybe with the exception of Gen 3, without any dads. We're not asking to get rid of the character's aspirations, but throw in some conflict or differing backgrounds once in a while. Number 5, The Doom Guy, Doom Series. Part of Doom's charm is the sheer lack of logic and balls to the wall gunplay, spearheaded by the manliness of our favorite Silent Space Marine. With the mission to take out the entire forces of hell single handedly, the only vocabulary he needs is excessive violence, built in chainsaws, and a whole lot of awesomely futuristic guns. We're not saying we don't enjoy eviscerating the legions of hell single-handedly, because we do. But there's no denying that the Doom Slayer is certainly lacking a backstory. The hell portal. The demons. It's all true. We've seen testosterone-fueled death machines in the past, and if anything, a well-thought-out foundation only adds to the awesomeness. I mean, he may want to take a page out of BJ Blazkowicz's book. Memory loss, flashbacks, 14 years in a loony bin. Good to see you, William. Number 4, Simon Belmont, Castlevania series. The endless battle against Dracula and his minions has produced a number of notable characters throughout this gothic series. Alucard and Soma Cruz have made for troubled yet intriguing protagonists, plagued by their connections to the Vampire King. And then there's Simon, the original vampire killer, and well, that's all there is to him, really. Armed with his trusty whip and sense of duty, he sets out on multiple occasions to defeat Dracula and his familiars. Being up for a bit of vampire slaying is all well and good, but a bit more insight into the Belmont clan of vampires would have been handy. Number 3, The Prince, Prince of Persia series. Even when he was nothing but low-res pixels, this nameless prince of ancient Persia was kicking ass and saving princesses, even though we don't know a thing about him. Several decades on and various interpretations later, and we still don't have a clue about his story. Despite pushing the boundaries of platformers, using interesting mechanics such as time travel, and even grabbing Nolan North as an official voice, it always comes back to the unknown protagonist trying to save some incarnation of a damsel from evil, with plenty of jumping along the way. Well, here we are. Two of us. Alone in the dark. Saved by the Yowl. We understand that having no name is an aspect of the series, but come on, give us something. Maybe a name to start with? Okay, fine. Keep your secrets. But at least tell me how to escape. No, I can't leave. I've got to get to the temple. Number two, Alex Vance, Half-Life 2. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. She's the ideal partner for helping Gordon Freeman take on alien threats. And we know she's the talented daughter of Dr. Eli Vance, as well as being a prominent member of the Resistance. But there's still so much untapped potential for her. Dr. Freeman, I presume. Attention. I'd better hurry. Much like the long-awaited Half-Life 3, we're waiting to find out more about her background and fill in the gaps. Man, a few words, aren't you? We know that she was held at the Black Mesa Research Facility for a good portion of her childhood, and how she dealt with the Combine invasion for most of her life. But all of that would be awesome to see from a first-hand perspective. However, until we finally get closure from Mr. Freeman's adventures, we're definitely going to be left in the dark when it comes to Miss Vance. <sighs> all right, all right. I'll miss you too. Now, don't worry about me. I'll see you soon. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. <laughs> Number one, Samus. Metroid, Other M. I was known for giving the thumbs down during briefing. I had my reasons, though. We're all familiar with Samus, the intergalactic bounty hunter who takes on the worst criminals and monsters in the galaxy. Raised by the Chozo, serving and eventually leaving the Galactic Federation, and battling against the infamous Mother Brain and vicious space pirate Ridley. Her backstory is essentially etched into gaming history. 
So what's the problem? Other M. That's the friggin' problem. Confession time. Giving new light to Samus' time as a soldier in an effort to give more detail to her character backfired horribly. She's portrayed as frightful and immature and is constantly undermined by her old commander. My past has left me with an uneasy soul. And as a result, it touched me on some level that Adam would acknowledge that past by calling me something delicate, like Lady. So, Nintendo, we're not sure if you need a reminder, but Samus Aran is a bounty hunter. She doesn't take crap from nobody. So, do you want to take another shot at this story? Let me go. You have to trust me. Just give me a chance. Commence drive unit disposal immediately. Do you agree with our list? Of course not. But word has it you've got some pull with the aliens. Which video game character do you think needs a better backstory? With new top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. All that I found unpleasant has been purged. From this day forward, I shall rule as Emperor of Planet Earth.